In this movie we're going to look at a feature that was added in Star Draw Design 7.3 and that feature is feathering. Feathers offer a visual indication that a cable continues from somewhere or continues to somewhere else either in the same drawing or in a different drawing and they perform the function of consolidating two distinct cable objects into one physical cable in the cable schedule to avoid double counting. Why would you want to use feathers? Well, they help in the simplification of your project drawings. They allow you to segment your drawings into different subsystems or different zones. And overall, they can enhance the legibility of the drawings that you're producing. Let's take a look at an example. In this drawing, we have the whole audio video system with the audio system in blue, the video system with purple interconnections and the power system in green connections. And this is quite a busy drawing, there's quite a lot of stuff in it and if you print it out into a smaller drawing there might be some problems with legibility. So let's look at a different project, a, a version of this system which uses feathering. So we now have just the audio and the power system in one drawing and we have the video system in another drawing. So there's a lot less stuff going on in each drawing, it's much easier to read. And these objects here are the feathers that show that a cable comes from somewhere else and that cables go to somewhere else. So, how do feathers work? Well, there is a library of feather symbols found in the symbol browser. And we have feathers for discrete circuit paths, so we have audio feathers, video feathers, control feathers, lighting feathers, and so forth. And for each feather type, there is a to and a from feather symbol. Feather symbols contain attributes. So one is called the feather ID, and we use this value to pair two distinct feathers together, so that each feather has a single twin. The other attribute is a label, or maybe two labels. And these labels display text in the drawing so that your feather can annotate some information about that cable. So to use feathers, we simply drag the feather symbol that we want out of the symbol browser. We connect it to a cable object. We set the feather ID attribute. And we can set the label attribute. Then we repeat this for that feather's twin. So, let's see how this works in practice. In this project, I have a video system drawing, and in the video system, I have a DVD player, and I've set up a couple of audio outputs that I'm going to feather to the audio system drawing, which has some equivalent cables running into a patch bay. So, this is an audio feather, so I choose my audio feather symbol, it's going to go to somewhere else, so I choose the audio to feather symbol and I drop it into the right place there. Remembering that I need to set the feather ID and the label, I go to the properties grid, let's set ID 01 and put the label in as patch bay 1. And that label is now displayed on the drawing. In the audio system drawing, I have the cable continuing to the patch bay, so I can choose my audio from feather, give it the same ID, 01, and a label saying that this is coming from DVD 01. Now, when I generate a cable schedule, like so, opening the cable schedule in Excel, you can see that we now have a feather ID column and I can scroll down to find the feather ID that we've just created and we can see that it goes from the video system drawing and this particular product all the way across and when we get to the end we see it arrives in the audio system drawing and this product. So the twinned feathers which have the same ID have consolidated this cable object and this cable object into a single cable in the cable schedule. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.